Tonight, a different take on the controversy surrounding medical marijuana. Molly has worked for weeks on what we're about to see. She even traveled to Colorado. Yeah, most of us think medical marijuana is something people smoke to alleviate pain, only that is not the only form. Tonight's story is part of the debate you've probably never seen. A twist no one is talking about we think we should be. The liquid form of medical marijuana you're about to see is illegal in North Carolina. It's illegal in most states. Not, however, in Colorado. New at 11 o'clock, we traveled 1,500 miles to see why Charlotte families are uprooting their lives for a medicine our state government doesn't allow. You never lose that, that hope. Luca is three. For him to be focusing on our camera this intensely, to have his eyes move as we move, is nothing short of a miracle. Before, he, he was just like looking through us. At five weeks old, Maria Cardona's youngest child was diagnosed with a rare gene disorder that caused severe epileptic seizures. Lots of them. So he had up to 20 seizures a day before the medicine, and where is he now? He is in one or two. A day? A day. Maria gives yeah. all credit to a new age strain of medical marijuana called Charlotte's Web. You just put all of this. It's an know. oil she gives orally, like most parents give Tylenol. She had to move from her home in southwest Charlotte late last year to this Colorado Springs apartment in order to get it's it. Everybody that we tell them, we're going to try medical marijuana, they were like, oh my God, he's going to get high. I'm like, he's not going to get high. No this one understood. But to Maria and her husband, it was simple. We have tried 13 different medicines, so why not? Why not medical marijuana? Go show grandmama. Same story for mom and native Charlatan Liz Gorman. Her daughter Maddie has severe epilepsy. Over five years, we've had uncontrolled seizures. She's seven, but on an 18-month-old level. Hey, Maddie, can you count the balloons? I remember really thinking that I loved it when she was little and that I wished I could keep her that way forever, and somehow I got that. You can do it. Maddie's been on 14 medications, even had brain surgery. Nothing worked. Within weeks of hearing about Charlotte's Web, Liz and Maddie moved to Colorado. Her husband had to stay in North Carolina for his job. We're nowhere near a therapeutic dose. We're at a very tiny dose still. But you've so. seen improvements in a very tiny dose. Mm -hmm. What is the secret behind this medicine? The answers we learn were up this dirt road tucked high in the Rockies in an unsuspecting cabin marked as private. This is the headquarters for the company making Charlotte's Web. The location is called The Grow. Walk in and business hits you head on. Every strain requires a little bit different of a nutrient. Seedlings are inside. Two greenhouses filled down the hill. It's busy, focused, with hippie-like chaos and a family-oriented feel. Hi, sweetie. Bye. Jordan Stanley and his brothers run this operation. We have around 150 kids that we're treating at the moment. And several hundred on the waiting list. Jordan says the trick to finding out how to treat pediatric epilepsy is knowing what's in a marijuana plant. The plant has THC, the stuff that makes you high, and CBD, the stuff that can be therapeutic. Through trial and error, the Stanley brothers removed most of the THC and focused on creating an oil really high in CBD. They called it Charlotte's Web after the first little girl it worked for. You saw Jordan pick her up a minute ago. Her name is Charlotte. She comes in, she just kind of molds to you. There are no official studies on Charlotte's Web. No federal agency says this works, but word of mouth is spreading like wildfire. In our two hours there, a half dozen families from around the country showed up to check it out. Got kids coming in and everything. Right? Oh, yeah. As if that's not enough, while touring the greenhouses, we ran into a dad from Wilmington, North Carolina. His six-year-old daughter, Mia, has two to three seizures a minute. I see hope, you know. It, it almost brings tears to my eyes to come here and see this. Are you going to move here from Wilmington? It's, uh, it's a very good possibility, yes. We get to be the people that get to make a difference. It's an honor and it's a thrill to be able to, to be a part of all of these families' lives. You can look at this one. Lives, which according to these two Carolina moms, are getting better. Any little, little thing, little good thing, like a smile, um, gaining, you know, strength, that, that's, that makes our days. Please say hi. As for the future, Liz says she has no problem begging North Carolina lawmakers to specifically legalize medical marijuana high in CBD. The medicine, she reminds anyone who will listen, helps kids and gets no one high. To me, it's pretty black and white. It's, it's hard to understand why this is something that uh, children all over the country who are suffering with similar types of epilepsies shouldn't have access to. It's just a little bit, it's very sad. Oh, where's that one go? You know, we shouldn't have to move for this.
Hmm. But move they did. They really didn't have a choice. Uh, two guys making Charlotte's Web. Well, uh, can, a, a, a set of brothers is more than two. All right, so a set of brothers. It, it, can they make enough? That's the big question. They won't run out, but they might have to limit how many kids they give Charlotte's Web to. The mm -hmm. waiting list falls really long because the brothers won't let a child start the medicine unless they have enough to give that child for their entire life. So that's why only 150 to 200 families are on it now, but they get 500 calls a week. That's a, a week. Lot. That's, that's a, a lot. lot. We well, have a lot more on our website as well right now about the workers there at the Grow and from the moms, WBTV.com.